Alright everybody, got a 30% 5 battle research booster last night, figured what the heck, why not, might as well do a 7.7 .7 French video with it, sorry dude, I didn't have anywhere else to go man, hopefully Dark Shadow here waits for everybody up at A. Nope. Why would he, after all? I'm just barely gonna make it if I make it. Tried to spin him out there, but didn't work. Anyway, I got the cap, so that's good, but... Use this dirt as cover and get the heck out of the way here. Thought I saw somebody for a second, but I don't think it was now. Nobody up there at the moment. Alright, let's go contest B. So, only four people got the cap today. That's too bad. It's a lot of extra respawns that we could have used. This is a good, good map for a good fight. Definitely use more people with respawns to win this. I'll take a second capture though. Man, that smoke takes a long time to deploy in this thing. Alright, what to bring, what to bring. We'll bring the Fosh, because it's fighting time. You know what? We'll bring... Yeah, we'll bring the Fosh. I may regret that if enemy air shows up, but for now... Alright, so that little dude got knocked out, so that's okay. I probably should have brought the Fosh with all the heavy tanks we've got here. I mean, I meant the DCA, not the Fosh. I probably should have brought the DCA, but... At the moment, the skies are clear, which is... Kind of surprising to me. Let's see what we can do, though. Well done, boys. Doing okie doke so far. F61 just took out a 906, and there is air up. Oh, it is friendly, okay. Got a lot of guys up by B, and that's where we're gonna head. Can't tell if they're down the road or not. See anybody across the river? All right, seem to be clear right here. Now this is a good place for the Fosh. Not perfect, but pretty good. Well, I do believe that that M60 is right here. I think. I definitely don't want to go driving forward, I know that. Blue 
Huh. Okay. I don't know. Some people need to get blocked. I don't know what this guy's obsession is with me, but for whatever reason, he hates me, so... Good for him. Is he... Nope, he's right there. And he also knows my channel has nothing to do with Orange Doom, so... Extra clever. Extra clever, extra funny. Finish this dude off. Didn't quite finish him. But we all right. We'll get him right here. Okay, there we go. And there's another one chasing the Act 15. Let's see if we can pick him off now. Hey, he's a little far up, but we'll try. Did seriously nobody went back and killed the M60 right here? Come in around him. Oof, boy, the STRV is doing some work. It's our friend the M60 right here. They got him finally. Good work, gang. Ooh, he was coming for me too. Is this STRV, I wonder? Apparently he's up there. Well, we'll just... Yep. We're just going to stay right here. I guess our friend in the STRV is up there. Across the river. So we'll just... Uh, Keep our eyes open for him, but stay behind this building here. Mostly watching for airplanes. So apparently he's up here. I'm not going to stick my face out there and get killed, so. Alright, there he was. Well done. Well done. Good job, P-47. Not a bad start. And the M60 comes back in an M103, but he doesn't go for the cap, he just sits there. That's alright. I think we got this one pretty well sealed up here. C-130 
See if we can get in on the uh, M103 there. Ah, uh, that's what it was. It was a Type 60. Okay. Carnarvon somewhere. See if we can finish off our friend in the M103 here if everybody stops throwing up a bunch of dirt in front of him. Oh, man, I love it. There we go. Got an assist on him. What do we got? We got two left still. Enemy air, maybe? Possibly enemy air? Let's see. Yep, doesn't matter. All right. Well, that's battle number one. Let's see how we did. All right, here's the second battle. Let's see if we can uh, have uh, the same good results. Good start in the first battle. This guy was uh, my random squad mate last battle. I don't recognize a lot of other names though. Let's see if we can make it to the B point with M46s and other Soviets on the team. Everybody against poor Germany. <laughs> Yeah, I agree about the AMX 1390 being really slow for a light tank. Definitely agree. Definitely feel the same way. It's a good tank. I really do like it. But it is slow. Which, of course, may be, you know, a partial advantage to it since the thing has got such gun whip and not a stabilizer. Are they going to wait at B? They are waiting. Thank you, boys. Appreciate it. Alright, and then the T-92 just goes right on in. Okay, let's go find some gemmins. Usually there'll be one right back there. Generally, there'll be a mouse down there. We'll keep our eyes over towards C. Can just barely see behind these bushes, but I can't tell what I can see on the other side of it. Okay, our BT-7 just got wiped by a leopard. Heard the leopard shot, but not well enough to tell where exactly where it was coming from. Up gun, up gun. Oh, the gun rays. I love that my gun had to tilt downwards because of the fence instead of just following up where I was aiming. Look at how slow that gun comes up and then jumps when it gets over the fence. I hate the third person perspective thing that goes on in this game. Got him, but only because he didn't kill me in one shot like he should have. Am 
And another. Another case of the gun not coming up. And now we really need the smoke for repairs. Yeah, I figured he was gonna be behind me. Well, bringing a little bit of air cover, I suppose. Whoa, okay. The light is not great right now. Oh, okay, three enemy air. Good lord. Ah, oh, man! Oh, come on, game! One single hit and I'm on fire. And my plane is toast. Well, fine, it was a Kugelblitz, but still. Pretty sure it was a Leopard that actually set me on fire. DCA it is, with all the enemy air up. Man, that sunlight is murder right now. That's one down. There's two down. The first one down, I mean the one that crashed, but still. Enemy plane down is enemy plane down. Alright. We need to go get us a capture point back, and that heavy up there is really going to help. I mean, at least if you're going to be out in the wild, go out that way where the enemy is. Or, you know, come back to B. Where is he? I hear him. Okay, it's our P-80. Alright. Enemy plane coming. Not sure why he thinks it's a good idea to broadcast with the smoke, because I wouldn't have seen him otherwise, but hey. Not gonna complain. Is he coming or going? Looks like he's leaving, which it makes sense why he's broadcasting his presence. Oh, that's not good. That is so not good. Multiple enemies over there. Bad news. Bad news right now. Careful, Lorraine. They are all right here, man. Yeah, we really need you down here, man. Come on. I'm trying to type, game. Great. Well, that's great. I'm glad our friend up here in the north is doing all that help for us. At least look down here, man. Come on. Jesus, now I'm taking hits from up here, for God's sake. Dude, come on. This guy is doing nothing. What's the point of being up there? It's right on the other side of the hill from him. I 
I'm gonna get killed in my side while I'm trying to go up and shoot back at the guy that's up in the hill there. Now there's enemy air up again. Actually, maybe there isn't. Oh, look, he moved in and killed somebody. Well, thank you, T29. Now let's see if we can... A single hit. A single hit. Now I gotta try and help the M103 here if I can. Who just got killed by a Kugel Blitz. Come on, gun. Swing back, please, gun. Oh, the gun whip. Oh, the gun whip. It is something else. So, I don't know what set the M103 on fire in the first place. I assume it was our friend in the Kugel Blitz. But I'm not sure. Let's hope this dude is blind and that I don't get marked. Because my loader is having himself a croissant before he finishes the load up here. I'm gonna go for his breach. I, I would aim for his ammo, but I doubt he's got it there, so we'll go for the sure thing. Alright, that works too. We'll go for the sure thing and just kill him. I was going for his breach to make sure he didn't get a follow-up shot, but a kill shot works. For real, dude. Look at this guy. Look where the M47 is. He's on the T29 side of the map. So tempting to go drop my bombs right there. So tempting. I'm going for the enemies that are there. But boy, is it tempting to bomb him. Look at all the enemy air up. Oh my god. It looks like somebody kicked a beehive. Ah, oh, I should have gone and bombed him. Well, there's battle two. They're not all going to be victories, and I did finish in first with five kills, so... While it wasn't a terrible result, it would have been better if we won. All right, well, here's the third battle. Did you notice at the end of the second battle that I made almost as much money as the first battle in a loss? That is so annoying. If only we'd won. I'm telling you guys, the reward for winning far outweighs the getting one or two extra kills in a loss. 120% a research booster, or research gain for winning, bonus, I should say, and a 60... 7% Silver Lion bonus for winning, so... Behooves everybody to do what they can to win the battle, not just get their kills up in the edge of the battle and totally abandon your team. The good thing was, if you noticed the amount of research I had left after battle number one for the AMX 30 1972, and then the amount of research I had left after battle number two was a very large part due to finishing up the modification the first tier of modifications for my Cerbese. Which let's see how that horizontal drive works now. The improved horizontal drive. That's not too bad. It's got a bit of swing to it. A little faster. A little bit better turret rotation. Not bad. Got me 10,800 extra research towards the AMX 30 1972, which means probably by the end of this video, I expect I will have the AMX 30 1972 unlocked. It's going to take some awfully bad luck in the next three battles for that not to occur. Now, I might not make it in for the C cap here. 
with those guys out ahead of me, and if that's the case, that's all right. I'm hoping to make it to the sea cap, but the Cerbese's not the world's fastest vehicle with its uh, unmodified mobility. So if I don't make it, I don't make it. I'm not going to ask these guys to wait because C is a contestable point. So are A and B, for that matter, on this map. This is not really a map where there's too many opportunities to wait for people. B, sometimes. But for the most part on this map, I'm kind of... I'm usually on the side of, yeah, don't wait, just cap. Because the points are going to be fought over. Now, it depends. I mean, this leopard right here, these guys are probably going to make it in time to join him in the cap, so it's not a big deal. And we're pretty far back, so I don't really expect him to wait. These guys look like they're going to make it, and there's nobody else there. So nobody really needed to wait at any of the capture points here. I think we're actually fine. This guy's getting annoying, though. Shooting at teammates as you're driving up to some place where the battle happens gives away your position. People can hear the bullets hitting teammates, and people can hear your gun firing. So don't do that kind of thing. Okay, we got somebody right on the other side of this dust, it looks like. Alright, he's out. It was an Antos. He's knocked out. That wasn't what I saw Mark, though, I don't think. No, it was not indeed. But that was. It was a medium. And there's another one right here. Get him, boys. You alright, buddy? Go ahead and repair, Petro. Let's see if we can spot anybody else coming here. Not yet. Kind of surprising, actually. We should be able to see somebody out there. Wow. All right, I'm going to back off and move north towards, or not north, rather, um, east actually, towards B here. I think we got enough guys here. Did, it, did that guy J... No, he just J'd out altogether. Okay, I was going to say, did he J out to get into an airplane? But no. He just left altogether. He might have disconnected. I think he might have been... There was a guy who just stopped up here. It's not that heavy. But there was a guy who stopped up there, and it might have been that T-44 if he disconnected. If he had a bad connection and disconnected, he may have just timed out and his game may have driven into the... Hang on. Go ahead. Sorry. You're definitely faster than me. Go ahead. Anyway, he may have just uh, timed out and driven into the wall there if he lost his connection. So I think that's probably what happened with him. Alright, we got to figure out what that M60 is. That's a couple kills again, and nobody is talking about where he is. There's two people who know where he is, but they aren't saying anything, of course. Nope, we got somebody down south, but he's probably the M46 that just got knocked out. Okay, somebody's calling to do it out towards B, and they're in B, so B was a good place to go. Let's see if we can come out and... Uh, Make a move on B. C is a little empty, but we've at least got this guy down here. So hopefully, either he sees anybody moving up towards C, or he's able to react and move back to C if someone starts taking it and sneaks in around him. Alright, they're taking A. That's alright. It's pretty much totally empty. Hopefully our airplanes go after A. Somebody's still on B. An M22 got knocked out, but they're still capping it, so... I-185 knocks somebody out. Looked like he was at A. Yeah, that was the guy who was capping A. Good work. Good work, I-185. Ooh, we got an M-103 somewhere. That's a little scary. I wonder where the M-103 is. Because again... Okay, he's right up close. Okay. 
Let's get in a position to deal with that M103. And try to keep an eye out from the B side. And we got a guy way up there. We'll put one shot up at him. And then we're moving. That probably was a little bit close. Okay. That other M103 is knocked out. We better put another shot up by this guy to throw dirt in front of him. I didn't quite get dirt in front of him, but I didn't make it past his view, so... Let's go get B back. And let's put a mark up on that guy. M60 close. Come on, baby. Roll. Come on, tank. Come on, gun. And I'm not... Oh, I was going to say, and now I'm not capping B, but I, it's because I left B. All right. No problem. Let's get back into B. Get her captured, and then we'll worry about that other M103 way out north. I keep saying north, not north. Way out east. Whoa. Thank you. All right. We got somebody else close on B. I'm going to see if I can get some shots at that M103, but I'll keep my eyes this way. Alright, M42 knocked out. That's good work. Yep, right there. Come on. I can't see him. Can't get a shot at him, and I don't want to give my position away to that M103 again. Alright, we got a shot at him now. Let's hope we can take his gun out. Good enough. It's all yours, man. Finish him. Sorry there. Amex 30. And me air is up. Hey, the M103 got taken out. I think both of those enemies I just saw Mark should have both been deaths. Oof, three enemy air. Let's see how many of them there are left. There's enough left. I don't really want to go ahead and towards A yet. Not if there's three enemy air out. Ha. We critted each other. Basically the same hits, too. So we got us a bit of uh, repair time, but at least we survived, and we survived the suicidal F-84 as well. So that's good. Hopefully my repair finishes before my smoke clears here. Oh, good. The, somebody got the M103. Look where those bombs hit. He must have blind dropped into the smoke. A few of them left. Let's see if we can make it over to make it to B. I doubt I make it in, I'm not going to make it in time to go for the cap, so I'm just going to stay at B. I might have made it to that cap, but I really don't think I would. Oh, 
Well, that's a P-47. Ooh! Stop! Stop rolling, tank! Man, the tanks that keep driving when all you do is swing the engine slightly to the side, that's just infuriating. He must have dropped all of his ordnance already or something. Ah, tank! left. Got a few left. I imagine he's gonna run for home. We'll give him a parting gift for playing the game. Falcon down, M19 down. I'm gonna relocate over to this uh, multiple enemy air coming. Bring it on, P80. Bring it on. Aw, that's not what I meant by bring it on. All right, we're going to save the rest of the ammo for actual tanks. This has probably got to be the most ammo I've ever fired off in one battle in the Cerbese. And, of course, a bunch of them were wasted shots trying to chase a P-47, but still. Is he coming back? If he's coming back, I'm going to shoot at him. He should be heading for his airfield. But if he noticed how much time is left in the battle and started heading back... Nah, he's still running. <laughs> that shot had to be so far behind him. Well, they're uh, apparently not going to come challenge our cap. Haha, <laughs> right at the end of the battle! Screw you, Hellcat! Thank you, team, for not saying a damn thing the entire battle. Ah, well, that's uh, quite a good bit of research. And that right there, folks, is hilarious. The funny thing is, if I didn't get bombed out, that probably, that would be a bigger number. There'd be more than 22 points left, but that's pretty humorous right there. Okay. Let's move on to battle four. Still a good battle. All right, here's battle four. Might be a little ugly, but we'll see what we can do. Try to get down at least, if I can't start to capture the point myself, which is not a great idea, I will try to get to the trees right along here at the bottom edge and hide in there and try to at least stop them from capping it for as long as I can. Hopefully most of our team does not just go right here and camp on the back side of this hill, but I imagine that's what they're all going to do. They're all going to go up here and just hide here and shoot at all their enemy team that hides here, and then like five people from each team are going to go down here. And that's going to be what happens. So we're fighting America, Britain, and Japan, and we got Germany, Russia, and France on our side. It's going to be... It's going to be something. Look at how many of them are going to go right up here. Just, just ignore the map, guys. I mean, don't worry about it. Just drive to your normal spot. And leave the battle. Good. Alright, let's hope going downhill helps. Because we're going to have some hot enemy contact once we get down here. There's one right there. 
Well, there was one right there. Well, an M103 left out. Oh, okay, hold on. Well, we better keep going, but... I'm assuming that's somebody firing smoke rounds, not deploying their own smoke. We still better get down into cover. I shouldn't have slowed down and stopped. Yeah, it's somebody shooting smoke. I should not have slowed down and stopped there. But I think I'm okay. I think I've still got cover. At least some of you guys give some attention to the A point, please. Now, I know I'm not going to have foolproof cover here, or concealment at least, but it should be at least a little. Alright, there's probably the dude shooting the smoke rounds. And he was capping. Thankfully, I got him right before he got his smoke off. That was kind of what I was intending to do. We gotta watch out for anybody out there in the wild. I didn't see anybody. I'm okay with this battle being a little slower and camping it out here because trying to go and capture that early is not a good idea. But at least we have to get to a position where we can stop them from doing so, which these guys are okay right here. I mean, they can't do much about that. These guys can't do much about here, but they're all right for there. So, I did have some other guys come with me here. Hopefully they don't go blasting through the trees and knock all the trees down and draw attention to this position right here, but we're all right for the moment. Now, the big problem is going to be somebody sneaking in, creeping through the trees here. So, we'll have to watch out for that. That is a pretty brave dude right there. Oh, I'm in the cap. How about that? All right, cool. Well, that works. Get back up behind some cover. By cover, I really mean concealment here, but at least some obscuring trees. Oh, T-54 just took a pretty good hit. Probably from well up the hill where I can't see. Yep, pretty much exactly where I'm looking and I can't see it. So we're just gonna keep watching right here. I think I was actually in a better position earlier than I am right here as far as seeing enemy tanks there, but I've got the uh, 105 Tiger with me as well, so it might be okay. Now what I'm worried about here is an enemy getting to that ridge line, looking down here and seeing the tail end of my tank sticking out, but I'm willing to accept that risk. Because we're in a good position now. They've got ticket bleed started against them. Can't really see anybody come through here. I could see somebody come there, but it would be in a very, very small window of opportunity. I will say one good thing about these guys being up here is that they are a tripwire for the enemy coming up this way and coming down on top of us from up the hill. So it's not all bad that they're up there. It really is just good that... It's good that enough guys came down here towards the A point. Besides, not just everybody being up here, so... On the whole, the team is deployed all right. If they make a mass rush and come down the backside of this hill and storm the A point, we might be in trouble because these guys won't be able to move quickly over here to shoot without being vulnerable from anybody else that's up here. But... I don't think that's terribly likely. And our Tiger 105 is going to kind of go be the front tripwire, I guess. And then we got a 906 up there keeping his eyes open too, so... Let's see if we can see anybody up on the uh, hill up there. Not at the moment. M56 just got... Okay, all of our guys got wiped out at the... Uh, center village, so we'll have to be mindful of that. Before they come down. Come down the hill here. They shouldn't be able to without these guys being able to see them, hopefully, or maybe the 906, but... We'll see how that goes. I know this battle's gonna be a little bit slow... slow-paced, but... Nice shot, 906. 
He definitely would not have made it all the way to the cap, but that's fine. Ooh, 906 got another one. They were making a run on the cap. And that's what I was saying. They'd have to make a mass, a mass push on the cap, but it had to be four or five of them in order to actually make it in on the cap right now. So, our team is deployed well enough. Now, air could be an issue, but I think I'm safe. At least from anything but a really low, low approach. I'm going to give it a little bit more of a ticket bleed before I move out of, move out of my position here. Because I'm in a very good defensive position to stop anybody from taking the A point. And then also able to duck out there quickly and recapture the A point if that becomes necessary. So I'm going to stay here for now. I'd like to see where that M103 is. But I imagine he's hauled down on the back side of the hill up there. So I'm actually okay with just hanging here for another minute or so. We'll let the ticket bleed bleed down just a little bit farther. If I was in a faster tank, I'd try the old run around low here and come up from behind them on the hill, but the Cerbese is just, just not quite fast enough until I get some more engine mods on it. The acceleration and the engine power for climbing hills is not quite there in my current state. It's getting there. It's not quite there yet. Now maybe we'll get lucky and one of these guys will come right up here where I can see him and I can get a beautiful side shot into him, but... Doesn't look like it. Alright, that, ooh, that is a heavy up there. I don't wanna... Can't quite see, can't quite see the guy from here. Alright, looks like they got him. I think they got him. I wonder how things look for our 906 up there. Alright, we'll push forward. Not exactly the most exciting battle, I get it, but I think we played it the way it needed to be played. Ooh. Would have been neat to see our 234 get his bombs off on that hill up there where I'm sure they are. Good. I'm glad he got shot down. Okay, our Tiger 105 got killed by an M103. So, we need to actually be careful now. Just had a guy get knocked out over here, which I think was that other M103. Alright, they made it to A. Most likely over, yep, right over here in the village, so we'll go investigate that. Knock him out and recap A. Go recapture the A point. And we are in. Just 180 right here behind this slight bit of concealment. I want to drop smoke because that's as much of a beacon. Oh, target, target coming. Looks like maybe a Type 60. Is that a hoary? Looks like a hoary. Hoary production, it was indeed. I didn't think I had much chance of actually hitting that Conway.
Yeah, he hit me though. See, he's probably about right there. Yep, he's knocked out. Alright, well, I didn't hit him, which is too bad, but somebody else got him for me. And I'm actually totally okay with this battle ending here without getting the kill on the Conway. Nice work on the SPA, eh? Seem good right now for the moment. And I think that's gonna do it. Good work, team. Good work. Good battle. Yeah, that went well. Hey, look, I got 22 RP. <laughs> All right, here's Battle Five. Now, I would have preferred we were coming in from that side. Because I feel like that side has a slight advantage to winning, but we'll see what happens. Send the usual message. See what happens. Before we attention to the map here, we need to attention to the map here. And that's all I'll send. All right. All right, they're on A. Just in case anybody isn't paying attention and they have artillery capability, because I do not. Good, they're taking C, that's a good thing, but still need C and B. More people are coming to B, that's actually, that's good. I mean, I, I wish a few people were going for C, just to get the uh, respawn points, but I'm okay with this. Who are we fighting? Just Germany. All right. Hopefully we make it in. I will probably deploy the smoke immediately upon getting into the B point because it is going to be a fight. There's somebody right there already. Just tracked him. Oh my god, I got in on the cap. I can't believe it. Oh, I can't believe I got credit for that cap. That was hilariously close. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, we got a mouse coming. Mouse is taking hits. We need to get in on him. All right, so we got two guys right here. And a mouse back there. I'm gonna back up and get cover around this building and then work on refilling the smoke. All right, one tiger down. 
and the other tiger down. For those of you who were asking me in the stream the other day if the uh, Cerbese's gun will go through the upper front plate of a Tiger II, I'm pretty sure that answers that question. So that's the two Tigers gone. We still got a mouse back here somewhere, I think. Ah. That's probably the mouse up there that just took a hit from that M48, I'll bet. Okay, smoke is... Excuse me, smoke is reloaded. Yep, there's our friend the mouse. Our friend the mouse has got another friend with him. Looks like a second mouse. Alright, got the shot I was looking for. Did not like that shot, though. Try to get back from that leopard there. Repair here. Try to reload the uh, smoke again. Hope that, uh, uh oh, air, that's not good. Multiple air. It's a 109 coming. Don't like that. Hopefully he doesn't have a bomb. This battle's going all right. All right, and we've got our smoke. Let's just wait for the reload. Take a peek for our friend, the our friend, the friendly leopard over here. Wyvern took out the mouse. Okay, that was the mouse we were working on. Good. I feel like I should have had an assist on him from knocking out a crew member, but whatever. Second mouse. All right, that'll work. I'll take that. I was just trying to knock out his gunner and or his breach, but uh, I find that result acceptable. Now, I don't want to shoot into their spawn, but they are shooting from from in their spawn, so I don't feel too bad about it. I'd like to push over to A, but I can't do that until I see what's in the smoke back here first. <laughs> Mouse is down. That is correct. You are welcome. Oh, that was tempting. It was le tempting. All right, push A. We push A while watching back towards their spawn because that seems like a fairly prudent thing to do. Wrong one. Wrong direction. Wrong cruise control button. All right, I have to. <laughs> it's alright. I don't even mind. I don't even mind if I don't make it in on A, although I would like to. I don't think I will because i got to get up this hill, but... I might! We only have one guy capping. It's possible I'll make it in on the cap. Possibly. Looks pretty good right now, actually. Let's see. We'll make our run for the cap here and see if we make it. A little downhill speed burst I got just there might just be enough to get in on it. Good work, team. Are we going to make it? It's going to be another close one. Nope. Couldn't get it. That's another mouse. Couldn't quite get that cat. I'm sorry, friend mouse. But you gots to go. Interesting. Just barely missed that cap. That's too bad. That was so close. What a nice score that would have been. Still a good score. I'm not complaining about my score by any means, but obviously an extra cap on there. 
still, five good battles, even with a loss. The loss even was... I made as much money and nearly as much research in the loss as I did in the four victories. Well, at least the first three victories. We'll see how this fourth victory goes out of five battles. But it went pretty good. So for anybody who wants to know, are the French tanks good? I, I don't know what other evidence I can present to you. They don't have stabilizers, and quite a lot of them don't have smoke dischargers. The Cerbese does. But... Quite nice. Quite nice. Very, very nice. One, two, three left. They've all died, so they're potentially all in airplanes. Um, our team's got the cat pretty well sealed. We've got the A side pretty well locked down, too. I'm just going to uh, go up to a hill and watch for enemy aircraft. Oh, yeah, there's a Horton. All right, so we got at least one Horton. I assume the others are also in airplanes because we haven't seen or heard anything from them. It's very tempting to come back in my AMX-30 DCA, but I don't think... I don't know, the ticket bleed... We've got friendly AAA. We'll see how our friendly AAA does. And he is an AMX-30 DCA. Obviously, it'd be better with two of us shooting at him, but... That'll do it. Oh, man, look at that frisbee. Nice shooting, DCA. Nice shooting. Man, 30 millimeter high explosive rounds will do that. And yeah, Hortons are real tricky. If you if they, if they turn and they get vertical in relation to you, oh, we got a mouse up there. It's pretty easy for them to uh, get shot down, but if they're not sideways, boy, they are a difficult target for SPAA, even with the high volume of fire SPAA. But there we go. Not a bad battle at all. Not a bad series of battles. I'll take four victories out of five battles with a 30% booster. This should pay out well, too. Not bad at all. And even in a victory, I got almost the same lions as in the loss. That's pretty funny. Not bad. Pretty good amount of research for the suspension here, too. All right. Well, that'll do for today. Thank you all for stopping by and checking this one out. We'll see you guys next time for more War Thunder. Take care, everyone. Have a great day.